Asianut Gracious Epodoy in Obalanga sub county, Kapele Biong district. She is named after Dr. Joseph Epodoy, who led a miraculous operation to separate this Siamese twin from her dead sister at birth. Her first birthday portrayed the Soroti Regional Referral Hospital medic as a glorified surgeon in the region. A year before the conjoined twins episode, Dr. Epodoy headed a team that delivered an ectopic pregnancy where the baby had developed outside the mother's uterus and been implanted on the liver, something that beat conventional medical literature. If we had uh, ordinarily found this pregnancy in the liver early, it has to be terminated because of the risk to the mother. But we got an advanced pregnancy here where we, we had reached the point of no return. And that's what we had to do. But who is this man, Epodoy, who has had 20 years at Soroti Regional Referral Hospital and has worked in Teso Subregion all his career? Joseph Epodoy, who was born on the 5th of August, 1971. My dad was an agriculturalist up to now. Then my late mom was a primary two teacher. Dr. Epodoy, a urology fellow in East, Central and Southern Africa, recalled the hardship during his time in school in the tumultuous 1970s. From P2 up to P4, we had no classrooms to study under. So we had to study under trees. I was a very careless pupil at that time. I could not keep my books, I could not keep my pencils. So for us, we would write on the soil. The teacher comes, marks us, you just rub, run back and play. So I actually entered a classroom in P5, primary 5, up to primary 6, where there was a roof. My marks, according to the teachers, there for, for, for primary 6, were not palatable to sit PLOE. But the, my dad said, no, I have trust in this boy. And actually got Division 1 that time. Unable to even raise additional fees to attend his dream secondary school, King's College Budo, on a government scholarship. It was just 10,000 shillings for school fees in King, King's College Budo which I did not have. <laughs> even, even transfer to reach there, we did not have. So we remained in Teso College. His marriage to Irene Chebet Epodoy, the lead obstetrician at the same hospital, and they have three children. She's his partner at home, at work, and often in the theater. He's a very experienced surgeon. Sometimes when he's in the room, I'm like, if I get a difficulty, I am sorted out. So that is why I, that's what makes me more happy. Like now I'm going to theatre, but there's a case I'm not so familiar, but it's for gynecology, but it's more better than me. So I, I'm actually going to prepare and we work together. Because our disciplines are different, we don't cross the lines. And I will not act like the big man in the theatre there, that uh, because I'm the husband, cut here, don't cut here, do this. Everybody is running on their lanes. This famous doctor's demeanour blew me away and I wanted to find out why he has chosen to stick with the rural hospital despite the opportunities that can earn him and his family a fortune out there. The philosopher of life, I've really studied and found that uh, you can make life anywhere, anytime, depending on what you want to be. Especially in Soroti here, what has helped me is uh, social capital. There is economic capital, yes, that can be a challenge, <clears throat> but the issue of social capital. Whenever I go to town there, like most of these people passing here, three quarters of the people there meet me. <laughs> Everywhere you go, people greet you, they know you. <clears throat> and for me, that's all what life, that's the starting point of life. Uh, if you woke up one morning, even if you are given all the world to own, and you find nobody in town there, you really feel you have no use of those huge sums of money. And for me, you reach a time where you want to live longer. That is the overall goal with what you have. Like now, my father is uh, 84 years. But his, but his uncles are still there, my grandfathers. This one is 106 years. Another one is 104 years. These are people who are staying in the village there. They don't speak English. They don't even have national IDs because they don't have fingerprints. <laughs> no one has ever given them a loan. Uh, they don't know what the interest rate is now in the local banks. So you can see that kind of life. Their life is purely natural. When we get, when we get back natural, with the little of this adulteration of globalization, we actually live longer.
The doctor is the financial supporter of this surviving twin as he hopes for well-wishers to give a hand. A man with a big heart and humility that many of us could emulate. Edward Muhumza, NTV.